Hi everyone, this is Joyce from Creative Biolabs Vaccine. Today, I will give you a brief introduction to the HPV vaccine. I hope what I provide can help you with your research. All my introduction includes the introduction of HPV, transmission route, morphology and structure, life cycle, pathogenic mechanism, HPV vaccines, and our services. Hepatitis B virus is the causative agent of hepatitis B, and belongs to the Hepatinovividae family. The Hepatinovividae family includes two genera, orthohepatinovirus, and avihepatinovirus. It is the genus orthohepatinovirus that causes human infection. The current guidelines recommend high-risk populations for chronic HBV infection screening, so that diagnosed individuals can carry out your proper hepatitis care. The vast majority of infected individuals without treatment, there will be risks for cirrhosis, liver failure and hepatocellular carcinoma. In uninfected individuals, HPV vaccines are safe and effective, in preventing the spread of the disease. Countries with successful vaccination have been able to significantly reduce the prevalence of HPV. The main transmission routes of HPV include the following four. 1. Dissemination of blood, blood products, etc. HBV exists in a large number of blood, a very small number of blood or blood products containing virus into the human body can lead to infection. In addition to blood transfusion, hemodialysis, organ transplantation, and so on can be transmitted. 2. Mother-to-child vertical transmission, mothers with HBV can infect their fetuses through blood flow. 3. Close contact and dissemination, at present, it has been confirmed that saliva, sweat, Vaginal secretions, semen, milk and other body fluids all contain hepatitis B virus. Close life contact, especially sexual contact, is a common mode of transmission. 4. Iatrogenic transmission, in medical or preventive work, the spread of the virus is artificially caused by failure to comply strictly with rules and regulations and operating procedures, including the use of contaminated or lax needles, blood samplers, and so on. Under an electron microscope, hepatitis B virus can show three forms of particle structure, large spherical particles about 42 nanometers in diameter, small spherical particles about 22 nanometers in diameter, and tubular particles. Large spherical particles, also known as stain particles, are the complete morphology of infectious viruses, consisting of an external lipid membrane and a protein nucleocapsid. Nucleocapsid encircling virus DNA and DNA polymerase, which has retrovirus like reverse transcriptase activity. The shell contains an embedded protein that involves the virus binding to susceptible cells and entering the cell. Small spherical particles and tubular particles are composed of the same lipid and protein as the virus lipid membrane, forming a part of the surface of the virus particles, known as the surface antigen, which is not infectious. HBV adheres to the surface of hepatocytes through low affinity receptors, such as heparin sulfate and proteoglycan, and then, mediates the endocytosis of cells to the virus, through the binding of the PREY1 region of the large envelope protein to the virus receptor. Sodium ion toracolic acid transport peptide is an important receptor for mediating HBV into cells, and establishing infection. The fusion of the virus envelope and cell membrane releases the capsid into the cytoplasm. The capsid is transported inside the nuclear pore complex, and the viral genome of RCDNA is released into the nucleus. In the nucleus, RCDNA may be transformed into covalent closed circular DNA through DNA replication mechanism. The CCC DNA has a high degree of stability, and can be maintained in the nucleus for months to years, which is the root cause of the virus rebound after antiviral treatment. Therefore, the clearance of CCC DNA is of decisive significance in the radical treatment of hepatitis B. The virus uses CCC DNA to transcribe 3.5 kilobits, 2.4 kilobits, 2.1 kilobits, and about 0.8 kilobits mRNA, in which 3.5 kilobits is a pregenomic RNA, which can reverse transcribe genomic DNA and act as a template for encoding virus core protein and polymerase protein. The surface antigen HB's egg was synthesized and polymerized in rough endoplasmic reticulum, and transported to the anterior cavity of Golgi apparatus, to package the core granules. The assembled HBV particles and subvirus particles were transported to Golgi matrix for HB's egg glycosylation. 
Finally, the complete virus particles secrete the host cells in the form of budding to complete the life cycle. The degree of hepatocyte damage is related to the strength of immune response, and the mechanisms of immunopathologic damage induced by HBV are as follows. Autoimmune response, on the one hand, HBV can cause the change of hepatocyte surface antigen, and expose the liver-specific protein antigen on the membrane. On the other hand, HB's AG may contain the same antigen as the host hepatocyte protein, which induces the body to produce autoimmune response to the antigen components of liver cell membrane. Drug resistance resulting from the mutation of the virus, HBV is easy to induce variation due to human immune pressure, and the influence of anti-HBV drugs in the process of infection. After HBV mutation, it can make the virus difficult to clear and cause drug resistance, and reduce the efficacy of antiviral therapy. The mutation of S gene can lead to HB's AG negative HBV variant infection and diagnostic escape. AG synthesis was blocked by gene mutation in pre C slash C region, and AG was negative in patients, but its viral replication was not affected. The variation of P region gene can directly affect the effect of antiviral therapy. Antibody mediated immunopathological damage, specific antibodies such as HB's AB. Prey 1 AB and Prey 2 AB and serum after HBV infection can directly remove free viruses from blood circulation. However, the immune complex formed by antigen and antibody can deposit in glomerular basement membrane, joint synovial sac, and activate complement, resulting in type 3 hypersensitivity. Immune complexes can also be deposited in hepatocytes, causing hepatic capillary embolism and resulting in acute liver necrosis. Cell-mediated immunopathological damage, immune cells play a direct role in killing target cells by recognizing HLAI molecules and viral antigens on the cell membrane. However, excessive cellular immune response can lead to a large area of hepatocyte injury, resulting in severe hepatitis. The FDA has licensed several HBV vaccines including several combinations vaccines. The first HBV vaccine was approved in the United States in 1981, and the recombinant version appeared on the market in 1986. It is the most effective and safe drugs required for health systems, which is in the list of essential medicines of the World Health Organization. In 1963, the American geneticist Baruch Bloomberg discovered Australian antigens, now known as HBZAG, in the serum of Aboriginal people in Australia. In 1968, Virologist Alfred Prince found that the protein was part of a virus that caused serum hepatitis. Merck's microbiologist Maurice Hilleman yielded a product that could be used as safe vaccines with three methods of strict filtration. The vaccine was approved in 1981. Hilleman makes HBV vaccine by injecting hepatitis B surface protein into the patient. These extra superficial immune systems, which recognize surface proteins as foreign, will manufacture specially shaped antibodies that are custom made to bind to and destroyed by these proteins. As a result, if the patient infected with HBV in the future, the immune system can produce protective antibodies promptly that destroy the virus infection to prevent further infection. Chiron's research director, Pablo D.T. Valenzuela, successfully made the antigen in yeast and invented the world's first recombinant vaccine. The vaccine contains one of the viral envelope proteins, hepatitis B surface antigen. It was developed by inserting the HBV gene coding for the surface protein into the yeast, which only produce non-infectious surface proteins, without any risk of invading the actual viral DNA into the final product. An immune system antibody to HBZAG is established in the bloodstream. This antibody and immune system memory then provide immunity to HBV infection. This recombinant vaccine is still in use today. Creative Biolabs is a professional manufacturer of vaccines, and is specialized in providing HBV vaccine manufacturing services. We have an integrated research and development system, and a complete service process. We can provide you with strategies for vaccine development, and help you evaluate and optimize the immunogenicity of your vaccine, as well as any other products and services related to vaccine research. You can contact us if you have any questions about vaccines, and we will provide the most appropriate solution according to your needs.